So the Hebrew word slicha means forgiveness. It's one of many words for forgiveness. On um, the Yom Kippur uh, liturgy, we use the word kapara, which is generally translated as atonement, but actually means, comes from the Hebrew root meaning to cover over. We use the word mechila, which is another word for slicha. So there are, uh, um, there are different words in Hebrew that convey the idea of making it right in different ways. Now, that making it right is, first of all, between the individual and God. But Judaism teaches you can't do that relationship, making it right with God, if you don't make it right with your fellow human beings. And therefore, you've got to do everything you can. Now, sometimes you can't make it right with your fellow human beings, but you've got to try your hardest to be able to do so and to seek to be able to make peace with your fellow human beings, especially those whom you know you've offended in any way. Even if you don't believe that you're responsible for it, you've got to go out of your way to be able to be reconciled, something that for many Jews is a very difficult thing, because we've got a history of taking umbrage, and sometimes with good reason, and often that tends to fester a little bit, and we unfortunately find in different communities I've served that very often taking umbrage, even within families, can be absolutely awful. And we have to then educate our community that that is not only not right, but it's very unhealthy for you yourself. It can destroy you from within. There is nothing that is healthier for you than being able to let go. And therefore, that's both essentially from a flat spiritual health, but also in terms of moral guidance. There is a need always to seek forgiveness. In other words, to make it right with one's fellow human being, not to hold a grudge. We are explicitly forbidden from doing so. Unfortunately, there are all too often those within the community that desecrate that commandment. We are not meant to bear grudge, we are not meant to take revenge, we are meant to actually, as I say, make it right, which is essentially requires this quality of forgiveness. But in the final analysis, the condition of your soul, if you like, is between you and God. And therefore, seeking forgiveness from God is, means your capacity to be at one with yourself in relation to the higher reality that we call God.